Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this text trailing animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it for any kind of text. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main, width and height 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. So here we have our composition. Let's add our text. So for that you can select the text tool. Now you can just simply click and type whatever you want. I'm going to type Behance. Here we have our text. Now for the font you can use whatever you want. I'm using this Montserrat black font but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever you want. Let's quickly align it this to the center something like that also let's make sure that it's anchor point is in the center so select the text layer hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool now we have everything set up so i'm gonna just scale this down a little bit something like that perfect so here we have our text now we're going to create individual letters and after that we are going to animate them so for that i'm going to first apply fill effect just so that we can distinguish this something like that now we can select the text tool or we can simply select this press ctrl d and on this one i'm going to delete the fill so that it's white and we are going to just type the first character which is b like this now we can probably zoom in and we can just align it to where we have the original character something like that so here we have our B and now I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now I'm going to type E and I'm going to just place it where we have the next letter. And in the same way, I'm going to just create all the other letters. So press Ctrl D, type your letter and just place it where you want it to be. So here we have all the characters. Now we probably don't need this layer. So I'm going to hide this up and we are ready to animate these individual ones. So I'm going to select everything. Then you can press P for position. Now let's move our indicator to somewhere around four seconds. And around here, I'm going to add the keyframes for all of these position properties. Now we can start animating individual letters. So let's move to somewhere around three seconds. And I'm going to select the first letter, which is B. Now we can move this letter to whatever direction we want. So I'm going to move them in a straight line. So you can, it's completely up to you can either move them diagonally as well. But for this example, I'm going to move them straight. So at three seconds, I want the speed to be somewhere around here like this. Now we can move one second back somewhere around two. And I'm going to move the speed to the left side like this. So you can see that we have this P coming in and after that it goes back to its original position. Now we have to do the same thing with all the other characters, but in a random motion. So for E, I'm going to just place it down below like this. And somewhere around here, I'm going to just place it to this side. And let's move one frame or one second behind. And I'm going to just place it down below. Now in the same way, we are going to do all of these other characters. Just do them randomly. So we have H. And I'm going to just move it to the top somewhere around here. And let's point some position. So something like this. And over here, I'm going to just place it to the top. Now let's do the same thing with the other one. So now I have animated all of these characters. So if I play back, you can see that all of these come from different positions. And after that, they align themselves to form the final letter something like that so before we continue if you enjoy my content and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so if you want to support me make sure to check it out link for that is in the description so let's continue now in order to make this little bit more interesting we can select everything press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor and once again if your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph not the value one now i'm gonna select all of these and let's change the graph to look something like that so now if i play back you can see that we have all of these coming in and then they form the final character and we probably don't need the starting so i'm going to just trim everything up now we can select all of these keyframes. Now, if you want to make them a little bit faster, then you can hold down the Alt key or Option key on Mac. Then select the last keyframe and you can just squeeze them in. So now this will make your animation a little bit faster, something like that. Again, if you want to have more animation, then you can just keep on adding keyframes and just moving these letters here and there. But for this one, I think these are looking fine. Now, I don't want them to come at once. I want them to appear randomly. So we are just going to make a couple of these random 
layer offset so something like that so you can see that now randomly characters are coming in and after that they form everything up perfect so we have our characters now our next step is to add the trailing effect so it's actually quite easy all you have to do is just let's add an adjustment layer and i'm going to select all of these layers press ctrl d to duplicate them and let's place them to the top now i'm going to hide these ones you will know why and i'm going to select all of these layers and let's apply fill to them so it's completely up to you can pick whatever fill color you want so let's drag one over here and i'm going to change its color to something like blue perfect now here's a pro tip for you if you want to apply a similar kind of color then you can just simply select this and you can go to edit and copy with layer properties and after that you can select all the other layers go to edit and just simply paste them now you can control all of these colors using this single property you don't have to go to individual layer and then just simply change them so here we have everything now let's add the trailing effect so in order to do that we are going to apply echo so let's search for echo and i'm going to drag it onto this adjustment layer perfect now first thing i'm going to change its operator to maximum now under the echo settings i'm going to set this to negative 0.001 and number of echoes i'm going to set this to 100 now it's completely up to you you can just crank this value up but again it will make your system a little bit slower so now if i play back you can see that we have these very nice trailing sort of characters and you can see that they come up to the final position now i want to separate these trails from the original characters so that's why we created the duplicate of these so now i am going to just simply enable all of these and you will notice that now we have the characters and we have their trails behind them so if i play back you can see that we have our characters coming in and after that they form the final letter now there's one more thing if you want to give it a little bit of jittery or stop motion kind of vibe then you can do this thing so let's create an adjustment layer so just simply right click new and let's add an adjustment layer and i'm going to place this on top of everything and on this one i'm going to apply posturize time and let's drag it over here under the frame rate i'm going to set this to something like 12. so now if i play back you can see that we have this stop motion kind of vibe which i think looks perfect with this sort of animation and we have our final text now again it's completely up to you you can just stylize it however you want you can have gradient instead of single fill color you can apply glow as well so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the best thing is that you can use whatever characters you want and you can just type out whatever text you want so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and in case you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one